10 News first introduced you to the jacket lady last year when she said Mexican authorities stole 60 new jackets that were meant for orphans. Well, it didn't stop her from buying even more jackets this year. 10 News reporter Joe Little followed the jacket lady during her annual shopping spree to see how she's avoiding last year's troubles at the border. There's Blue is pretty. It's a shopping spree. Do you have a rack for me I there? Do. An epic shopping spree. It's jacket day at Macy's. I know. And I buy uh, jackets for the uh, children who are in need. 87 children will be warmer. I can just see those kids in this now. After Florence Murphy is done with her seventh annual trip to the Mission Valley Macy's one day jacket sale. Yeah, these purples are really nice. <laughs> Last year was very sad. That's when the 60 new jackets in last year's batch disappeared at the border. Mexican authorities confiscated them from Murphy's partner, Paul Cecil, as he was delivering them to a Tijuana orphanage. I tried so hard to get them back. The Mexican consulate told 10 News at the time Cecil didn't declare the jackets properly. That's why I didn't think I'd do it again. Let's get some blues. Thankfully, she did. Here's another kind. On this Macy's one day sale. Aren't those beautiful? Murphy got $7,000 worth of winter jackets for only 1500 money out of her family's pocket. I like my receipt like this. <laughs> But instead of driving the jackets themselves this year, Cecil and Murphy found a middleman. So, Paul, there won't be any stopping at the border this year, right? No. This year, the jacket lady recruited the nuns at St. Charles Caritas in the South Bay. Thank you for all your <laughs> donations. They operate seven orphanages on both sides of the border. We have some jackets. And they're pros at delivering supplies. Your gift is really in the right time. Just as the temperatures start to dip, 87 jackets for 87 kids. And this time, Murphy knows they'll get there. They all know me as a jacket lady. Joe Little. <laughs> and they're ready for me. 10 News. Now, when this all happened last year, 10 News called the Mexican consulate on Murphy's behalf. Mexican officials told us at the time the jackets were found, but they were never returned.